Welcome back to my garage. I'm excited for your first lesson to get you comfortable with your Tormach CNC mill. Now let's start with the obvious. The first question I had was, how do you turn this thing on? The first thing you wanna do is go around to the side of your machine and turn on the main machine power switch. Next, release the e-stop button by twisting it. Then press the physical reset button. Once you release it, it'll remain lit. Now press the reset button in Pathpilot. Get ready, this thing is about to move. But first, make sure you've removed anything from the table that you may have mistakenly left inside the machine. When you first power up your machine, you have to reference the machine. It has to do all three axes, the X, Y, and Z. You should always reference the Z axis first, followed by the X and Y. That moves the spindle up and out of the way before it moves the table around. You want to avoid slamming the spindle into anything that may be on the table, like a vise or a workpiece. And if you have a fourth axis, the A axis, this will be the proper time to reference that as well. One side note, jogging the machine or moving the table in the X or Y plane or the spindle in the Z plane is possible before referencing the machine. But here's the deal, the machine should be referenced before jogging to avoid running an axis into the end of its travel. So it's up and running. Let's make sure it's properly lubricated. If you have an automatic oiler like this one, once you turn on the machine, it's going to take care of that job for you. You're good. If your machine is equipped with a manual oiler, pull the plunger. If the machine is set for an extended period like greater than three days, the oil in the lines may have drained to the reservoir. In this case, the plunger should be pulled several times to reprime the lines. Now you're going to want to warm up the spindle. In Pathpilot, type in 500 in the blank where it says RPM. 500, enter. Then make sure the door is closed. Hit FWD or forward and let the spindle run for a few minutes. There you go. Then just hit stop and the spindle will stop. When you're ready to shut down your machine, hit the e-stop button. Then press exit in Pathpilot and press OK. When prompted, turn the main power switch and you're done. We'll leave it there for this video and pick it up on the next one.